Hi guys, welcome to the channel and kaboom! Yes, welcome to my Made Simple Attack Strategy series. This is where we find some of the best attack strategies and we make them simple. We break them down and we make them easy to use. And today we've got a stunning Town Hall 12 attack strategy. Yes guys, we're going to rename the army first of all, then check out the army competition and watch some awesome replays. So, it's not called Witch Spam, no. What are we going to call it? It's got Ice Golems, Witches, Bowlers and Bats, we're going to call it... Bear with me guys, I'm a slow typer. Ice Wee Bow Bat with three exclamation marks because it's so awesome. So let's meet the army, then you're going to have six Ice Golems, ten Witches, eight Bowlers, two Headhunters to take out those enemy heroes, two Wizards and one Minion. Of course, that is Mike the Minion. If he's on the battlefield, you're in with a really good chance of getting three stars. Yes, guys. Your spells are going to be six Bat Spells, three Free Spells and one Rage Spell. Your donated Clan Castle Troops will be two Yetis and four Squirrels. Guys, I'm only joking, there are no squirrels in Clash of Clans, only Steve the Squirrel who hides in the forest. But anyway, yes, yeah, sorry, and one wizard, two yetis and one wizard, they're going to be your clan castle troops. Your clan castle spell to sprinkle on top will be a rage spell, and more often than not, you're going to be using the wall wrecker or some siege barracks. And it comes together beautifully, guys, it's a really nice, easy to use attack. And like I said earlier, if you are looking for some of the best Town Hall 13 and Town Hall 12 bases and attack strategies, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join the Samus army. We're almost at 60,000 subscribers, so thank you so much for your support. Anyway guys, that's enough of me going on. Let's go and check out some replays so we can see this awesome attack strategy in action and see how to use it. So through the clouds we appear. Here's our first replay, and I thought I'd take on a Town Hall 13 first of all, just to show you how easy it is to use. So, the first stage of the attack normally would just be put down those ice golems in a line, then the witches behind, the heroes in the middle, sort of in the centre of the line there, then the wall wrecker, then the bowlers, of course, the bowlers are the most fragile troops you've got, so look after them. And make sure, if you need to, like on this base, use your Grand Warden ability nice and early to protect the wall wrecker and the troops. Sometimes you don't have to wait until they get to the town hall. I've put a rage spell down there as well to help the troops into the base. And just to be sure, guys, try and put a rage spell on the town hall so the yetis take it out quickly. Two yetis and a wizard should be enough to take out most town halls. And then, guys, it's just about looking after your hero abilities and, of course, the last stage of the attack, deciding where you're going to use your bats. Now against Town Hall 13 bases you've got scatter shots to think about, five wizard towers, multi infernos, so it is more difficult to take out Town Hall 13 bases of course. It is in general if you're a Town Hall 12, but if you attack, you know, a pretty much like, you know, nearly maxed out Town Hall 13 base and you can still get 60-70%. That's a really good result in my eyes, guys. That really is. It's going to help you out in the Clan War League and War Attacks, you know. That will really help your team out. So, as you can see, the attack sort of just uh, losing, losing its pace here. I've got a few Witches left, but unfortunately they've been targeted by the uh, Eagle Artillery and they're gone nearly. Just uh, There's a solitary wizard over there, Mike the Minion. He was on the battlefield, guys, but I, th I think I saw him fly off into the woods. But he's been doing that a lot recently because apparently he's got a new friend called Steve the Squirrel who lives in the Clash of Clans woods. So if you look at the woods now, here we go, guys. Here's our next attack, by the way. But if you have a look on the left-hand side of the map, just, be just behind those ice golems, there's a little path going into the forest. And that's where Steve the Squirrel lives. That's where Mike often flies off. Uh, yeah, I haven't met Steve yet, though. Anyway, enough about Mike the Minion. So, this was a farming attack. So, yeah, this is a great strategy to use in your normal farming attacks if you need to upgrade your base. So, again, we went with just putting the ice golems down, then the witches behind, then the bowlers, heroes, and wall wrecker in the center. Guys, don't forget to use your headhunters. I always forget to deploy them. Even if there's some heroes you know, near the edge of the base that we're attacking and you can try and protect your headhunters with the Grand Warden abilities. Well, I just forget. I always forget. Halfway into the attack, I look at the troops available bar there and I see Mike the Minion and a couple of headhunters and the bat spells and I think, not again. I forgot to use the headhunters. And they're getting really angry at me. They're saying, Samoosh, you're not using us properly. We're supposed to take out heroes. By the time you put us onto the battlefield, there are no heroes. Anyway, sorry. So, obviously, the last stage of the attack is very important. It's the difference between two and three stars quite a lot of the time. It's deciding when to use the bats. Obviously, the bats' number one enemy are wizard towers and multi-infernos on Town Hall 12 bases. Town Hall 13 bases, they've got scatter shots to think about as well. But just try... And, uh, you know, deploy them 
when it's safe to do so, you'll get a feeling how to do it. And guys, we've just frozen the barracks for four stars, and we've frozen the grass there for five stars. Yes, guys, you saw it here first, and Mike the Minion was there as well. I was trying to make a, an important point there. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, about the bat spells at the end, just try and do it when it's safe. And try and keep at least two of your free spells for the bat spells at the end. You can use one free spell, maybe if a single target Inferno's got a hold of your wall wrecker. Say, no, single target Inferno, I'm going to freeze you. And it allow the wall wrecker to go on. It's handy anyway. Look, to see, the wall wrecker has been targeted now. And we've just used the Grand Warden ability. That's going to protect the wall wrecker, of course. But by the time the ability wears off, the wall wrecker will be destroyed. Probably, anyway, by the Inferno Tower. And if we wouldn't have broken through that last wall and got those troops inside there, it might have only been one star. So don't take any chances. That's all I'm trying to say. Make sure the wall wrecker gets to the town hall, put the rage spell down, and then the troops will take it out like that. There we go. Quite magnificent. The king's doing well over there on the right hand side. And of course, the last stage of the attack. Now, guys, you've got Mike the Minion and you've got the bat spells. Mike the Minion, when he enters the battlefield, he is in charge of the battlefield. And you, uh, you've got the leader of the bats as well, of course, Billy the Bat. He's a nice guy as well. And we've put the bats on that multi-inferno. We're going to have to freeze it, otherwise it'll just take out the bats. And unfortunately, though, there's a wizard there, guys. And, whoa, look at that. Don't take any chances. I just used that free spell in time. And there he is, Mike the Minion. Go on, Mike. Beautiful to see him in action like this. Quite magnificent. Mike the Minion, everybody. Mike the Minion. So there we go, guys. There's a few replays for you. It really is a nice attack strategy, this, for Town Hall 12. It's uh, easy to use, it's fun, and it can be very effective. Let me know what you think in the video comments. Loads more Town Hall 12 attack strategies, Town Hall 12 base designs, and Town Hall 13 as well. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the Samus Army. Catch you later, guys. Take care.